says, is it mandatory for a Muslim to work out and to exercise his body? The word exercise itself, as we know it today, hitting the gym or going for jogging or doing your cardio or any similar activities, these were not present at the time of the Prophet ﷺ. Nevertheless, the Prophet ﷺ used to encourage his companions to race on horses, to wrestle, and he would test them himself ﷺ before going to an expedition or uh, to battle and would allow some to go and would prevent others from going as in the story of Rafi ibn Khadij and uh, uh, when he was proposing or wanting to enlist to go to the battle of uh, Uhud and the Prophet prevented him because of his age his people told the Prophet that he was a good archer so he allowed him in and came another companion who was also rejected because of his age and he said that I have the ability to pin him down O Prophet of Allah physically so the Prophet allowed them as well so uh, exercise per se was not mentioned as we know it today but the Prophet had said in an authentic hadith that your body has rights over you your Lord has rights over you, your guests have rights over you, and your wife has rights over you, so give each its due right. So one has to take care of his body because your body has rights over you. And without any doubt, a, a person that exercises and maintain a good diet would be able to worship Allah better in quality and longer in duration as well, but not to go to the extreme as people do nowadays when they take these steroids and hormones or they spend excessive time just to look good in the gym without any purpose, without any intention. This is not something one uh, uh, should be indulged in.